Hi, I'm Francis de Roy, Member of Parliament for Glengarry Prescott Russell, and speaking on behalf of Canada's Minister of Women and Gender Equity and Rural Economic Development, Miriam Monsef. Nous connaissons à quel point les défis dont font face les communautés rurales, et comme nous passons à travers la COVID-19, nous savons à quel point il est important d'appuyer nos communautés dans la reprise économique. Reliable roads and bridges help rural businesses and farms move their goods to market. This important infrastructure helps smaller communities attract talent and investment and also keeps residents safe. Voilà pourquoi je suis fier d'annoncer aujourd'hui un investissement de la part du gouvernement fédéral de 9 millions de dollars dans cinq projets au sein des comtés unis de Prescott Russell et Stormont Dundas Glengarry. Les projets annoncés aujourd'hui comprennent la réfection du pont Touchette, qui est essentiel pour les résidents, les agriculteurs et les entreprises qui traversent la rivière Nation Sud. Ce projet prolongera la durée de vie de ces infrastructures de nombreuses années. In North Grenville, County Road 43 will be widened from two lanes to four between County Road 44 and Kempville Creek. It's important to notice that Kempville Creek Bridge will also be rehabilitated. De tels investissements renforceront nos communautés rurales et nous aideront à nous remettre de cette crise, à créer des emplois et à promouvoir notre croissance économique au moment où notre pays en a le plus besoin. I know this is a difficult time for rural Ontarians, but together we will get through this. And by making investments now, we will help ensure that we not only recover, but that we build back better. Thank you. Merci. Hello, bonjour. I'm uh, MPP Steve Clark. I'm here in North Grenville with some great news. Our government is improving the roads and bridges Eastern Ontario residents rely on every day. More than ever, these infrastructure investments are vital to support Ontario's economic recovery and renewal. Whether it's the long-awaited expansion of County Road 43 behind me, upgrading and widening a street in Cornwall, or improving a county road in Morrisburg, we're investing in reliable infrastructure to get people and products where they need to go safely and on time. Last July, I was proud to announce our share of $3.3 million for the County Road 43 project residents have been waiting for. And with today's announcement by the federal government, I can't wait to get shovels in the ground. In total, our government is investing $6.5 million to improve roads and bridges in these five communities. Cooperating with our federal and municipal partners is essential to building and renewing our infrastructure to create jobs and to strengthen the economy. I look forward to more announcements. Bonjour, François Saint-Amour ici, maire de la municipalité de la Nation, à côté du pont Touchette qui traverse la rivière Nation. Euh, on est très choyé d'avoir l'implication du gouvernement fédéral, la province et de euh, beaucoup d'aide de, de notre euh, membre du Parlement, Francis Drouin, euh, qu'on a eu pour une subvention de 2,1 millions de dollars pour un ouvrage d'à peu près estimé à 2,5 millions. C'est des sommes d'argent très importante et puis je suis convaincu que les résidents qui utilisent le pont vont pouvoir la regarder encore plus longtemps et puis on garde cette belle nature. Merci à tout le monde impliqué. On behalf of residents and businesses in North Granville, I am thrilled that we can finally proceed with the long overdue and crucial upgrades and expansion of County Road 43 to the heart of Kempville, connecting many communities in Eastern Ontario. Thank you to Federal Minister Maria Monsef and Ontario Ministers Laurie Scott and Steve Clark for their significant collaboration and support. Alongside Warden Pat Sayo of the United Counties of Leeds and Grenville, the County Road 43 expansion will bring huge benefit to businesses, families, schools, daycares and seniors. Together, we will build a stronger and safer community. The United Counties of SDNG is pleased to partner with the Government of Canada and the Province of Ontario to complete this multi-million dollar project to benefit the residents of South Dundas and the county as a whole. These important infrastructure projects will position our community as an important hub for commerce and tourism in the years ahead. The Morsburg Roundabout project consists of approximately 1.2 kilometers of County Road 2 from the St. Lawrence Street East to about Allison Avenue in Morsburg, Ontario. The project scope includes upgrading the roadway construction of the roundabout at the intersection of County Road 2 and County Road 31. 
race center medians, entrance improvements to local businesses, sidewalks and pedestrian crossovers, ditching and lighting and street scaping. The project aims to address operational deficiencies with the intersection and the section of road to allow the safe and efficient movement of pedestrians, cyclists and vehicles. It also aims to enhance the roadside environment and extend the overall service life of the road. The United Counties of Stormont, Dundas and Glengarry looks forward to more partnerships with the senior levels of government in the future and we thank all parties for their kind support and enthusiasm with respect to this particular project.